G'day, welcome to another episode of Trader Boat TV. We're here on the Gold Coast in the Riviera 51. Trader Boat spent quite a bit of time on the 51. We've had a, a week to 10 days up in the, um, off Lizard Island in the Great Barrier Reef, so we know the boat pretty well. But gee, the boat's changed now. This has got triple IPS 600s, which are 435 horsepower engines. And the IPS have forward-facing propellers, great maneuverability, better performance, and better efficiency. I'm here with Andy Layla. He's one of the professional skippers of, uh, of Riviera and he's taken this boat down the coast to Sydney and I'm also here with John Zammett, he's one of our boat testers based in Melbourne. We all had a bit of a drive offshore and uh, look the boat's just great to run. Andy, what did you like about the boat when you took it down the coast? Oh, it's simply just the quietness and uh, smoothness of the boat, easy, easiness and good seaworthy conditions. It's a pleasure to drive. Uh, Andy, tell us a bit about the uh, delivery of boat number two with these IPS that you took to Sydney. Yeah, it's uh, a great boat to cruise down the coast in. Very quiet, easy to talk to and uh, get on with everyone while you're cruising along. Just being quiet and smooth is, probably takes a long journey. Makes it a lot easier. Fantastic. And John Zammett here from Melbourne, uh, who owns a Riviera 40. No, no secret, um, John was behind the wheel and you look like you're having a lot of fun out there as well, John. I was actually having a lot of fun because for a big boat, I mean a 51 foot boat, the way it spun round and uh, handled, it, it handled like, almost like a 30 foot sports cruiser and uh, yeah, I was having a lot of fun, I can tell you. And that's the great thing about the Riviera 51, it's a big boat, it's a home away from home, but with the IPS and the joystick, it's really easy to dock no knee knocking during the docking. The other great thing is that it really is uh, an accommodating boat. It's got three cabins and two heads and it packs everything in there for extended liveable cruising. I wanted to go and check out some of that um, layout and it's a lot of boat for your 1.5 million bucks. Thank you. 